In this tutorial on GarageBand for the iPhone and iPod Touch, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use a smart keyboard and some of the features available within it. Let's get started by adding the smart keyboard. This interface pops up. What we have here is very similar to all the other smart instruments. You have chords that you can play by tapping on the top here. Or you can play the individual notes within the chord by tapping within the column. You can also play an arpeggio by moving your finger up and down through the column. You can also turn the sustain on in the bottom left corner here. There's also an arpeggiator built within this. You access this by tapping on this button on the left here and then turning the run on. You have a couple of different parameters that you can mess with here. There's the note order, which will change how the notes are going to be played by the arpeggiator. I'm going to go ahead and set this on up. You can also change the note rate, which is how fast or slow the notes are going to be played. Um, you can. There's a number of different uh, settings here. I'm going to go ahead and set this on eighth notes. And then finally, there's the octave range which sets the limitation of how high or how low the notes are going to be played. Um, you can set it within one octave, two octaves, three octaves, or four octaves. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on two octaves. Let's go ahead and tap done. And let's lay down something on what we've played so far. Right, that sounds pretty good. There's also a number of different sounds that you can cycle between. You access them by tapping this button in the top left corner here and tapping on where it says Grand Piano. I'm going to cycle through some of these so you can hear how they sound. You can also edit some of the uh, parameters of these different sounds by tapping on this button in the top right corner here. Alright, I kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and bring it back to the beginning. And that's going to end this tutorial on how to use a smart keyboard. Stay tuned for my next tutorial where I'm going to demonstrate how to use the regular keyboard.